it away, take it away, don't look good to me. What's up, baddies? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm sporting my face faha, which is what I've been calling it. It's just a wrap, but um, I got chin lipo, so... Um, I'm excited to share with you guys like how everything went. I am currently, as of today, exactly one week post-op. I'm going to talk you guys through like literally start to finish what I had to do, how much I paid, how my experience was. You guys will see like real-time updates for each day post-op. So um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. So first things first, I'm just going to tell you like a little bit about where I went and the process. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys like a full price breakdown and like just answer any like little questions because I've been seeing I posted a, a TikTok already about like getting it done that day and you guys had so many questions um about like my experience uh so I'm gonna pull from those and try and answer as many as I can okay first things first I did go back home to Connecticut to get this done um because my stepdad's nephew is actually a facial plastic surgeon he only specializes in like neck up procedures like facelifts uh nose jobs chin lipo stuff like that um and they also do like injectables too there it's called connecticut facial plastic surgery and it's located in farmington connecticut his name is dr nick carter with a k he is the best the best and he really does have like the best team behind him too his um i'm not really sure what her job title is i think like kind of just like a um assistant to him and like she coordinates everything like she's like your point of contact Aaron at his office is absolutely amazing like if I needed anything 24 7 she was answering like she is the best and she provides I'm sure the office also provides all this stuff but like she talks you through the entire pre-op post-op instructions like in depth make sure you understand and if you have any questions like she is your liaison she's the best so although you go to Connecticut facial plastic surgery for like your consultation to meet the doctor for all of your post-op appointments and pre-op appointments you get the actual surgery done um, at a different facility I went to the Connecticut Surgical Center is literally less than a half a mile away from Nick's office it's like right down the street and everyone there was absolutely amazing too I loved all the nurses that I had that day but you're only going there for like the one day of the surgery the rest of the time is spent at the um plastic surgery office so when I first went and got my consultation um, I met with Nick and basically there's like three different options that he presented me the first one is just basic like chin lipo where they go in and they kind of just get only the fat that you can like grab like I don't know how to describe it but he was like grabbing on my chin and he was like this is what I would get rid of and it, I don't he didn't think that like it would give me exactly what I wanted like I'm really looking for like that like chiseled jawline you know what I'm saying like I'm trying to eat the girlies up so um he was like I think that you need to get like the neck lift which is like the second option the third one is like a full neck reconstruction and he did mention that that's like really only for people who are a little on the older side and like you have you know excess skin that's not gonna like tighten up just like not the youthful type of skin that you would need for it to like bounce back after the surgery then you would get like the full neck reconstruction but the second option that i actually got um technically it is a neck lift and chin lipo so you're getting that first stage already he's gonna go in and liposuction what he sees but the second one is basically i don't know like the all the scientific words about it but i do understand that he goes in and there's like a muscle here um and he kind of like severs the muscle and tacks it to your hyoid bone so that he can get under it and get all of the fat i actually will show you guys a picture he showed me like the fat that he took out <laughs> so i'll put it up on the screen it's kind of gross so i'm gonna give you a trigger warning really quick and then i'm gonna show it um oh my god 
<laughs> and then the little like bean shaped thing that you see next to those two pieces of fat is actually um one of my glands he just said that it was like you don't really need it to like to live like it's really unnecessary um it's on this side where the drain was and he kind of went in and like took a little piece of that out just so that he could get like optimal results because i did actually have like more uneven like my face wasn't symmetrical because of right here it was way thinner on this side than it was on this side i kind of had like a like a little extra right here so that's gonna the fact that he did that is gonna help kind of snatch this side the way that it's gonna snatch this side if that makes any sense i don't know again i don't know the technical terms but I really do trust Nick with my life like he's been doing this forever he's an amazing surgeon he's so well spoken for like and he knows his shit I'm gonna tell you right now like if you're gonna get chin lipo and you want a doctor that you can trust like go to Nick <laughs> he's literally the best and also you'll see like I had to call him uh, later in the day um, like way after hours because I was in like a little bit of pain on this side towards like the fourth day I really was against like taking prescription meds after like you're not supposed to really be in any pain but because he did take that part of my gland like swallowing was getting a little difficult once all the numbing uh, was wearing off so I called him after hours and like he picked up right away he was like what do you need like what can we do like I'll even go in the office if you feel like it's that bad whatever and it's not because um his family member or anything like that like he is like that with all of his patients I can vouch from that because I do know people who have gone to him before and like he's on his shit and so is Erin she was like calling me like what do you need like they're amazing there honestly and like obviously I have nothing else to compare it to but like I have friends who've gotten like literal BBLs and they have no like pre-op or post-op care through that doctor which is fucking insane like I literally was taking Arnica Montana it's like a herbal supplement that they give you to put under your tongue um, every day for one week before pre-op and then one week post-op and it helps with swelling and I was like oh like you know I'll always listen to whatever they have to say like I'm taking this a week before I was very diligent about it and one of my mom's friends went down to Miami the same exact day that I was getting my surgery to get a BBL. And I was like, oh, like, what are the pre-op, like, what did they give her for pre-op? Like, maybe she should be taking something like that, you know, like, to help with swelling. And she was like, they literally did, said nothing. They literally gave her nothing before going into a, a major surgery like that. Like, I'm just working with my neck, like she got her whole body like recomped and i i'm all for a bbl if you want a bbl if you want any body modification i'm your biggest fan do what you want to do it's your fucking body you only get one of it do whatever you want to do and you're perfect the way you are regardless however to get such major surgery like that and have no pre or post-op instructions is unbelievable i was like should, they gave her nothing like literally nothing they didn't even tell her like don't drink or smoke before like literally nothing blows my mind okay another measure that i had to take before getting the surgery is when i was first at my consultation i actually booked the surgery right at my consultation i knew this was something i wanted um for a long time and i had been talking to nick about it at like family events for a little while so i knew once the consultation once i had that i was like i'm booking it today so i got his earliest appointment i literally got in like in less than a month and you have to get a physical 30 days before you go into surgery so i just walked into an urgent care and they like checked off all the boxes i was perfectly healthy and you put your down payment down so i do have all the paperwork for like what i paid and stuff but i'm gonna talk about that at the end because i also have other stuff i want to talk about so yeah pre-op um i was a little nervous but to be expected and it was really early early in the morning so i feel like it lessened my anxiety because i was like literally a zombie i'm not a morning person um everyone was really really sweet at the surgery center and everything went smoothly nick called me later in the day the first day after the surgery and said like it couldn't have gone better he took he told me that he took part of that gland just so like i'm aware of it and yeah everything went well so again i'm i'm gonna take this off for you guys so you can see ignore my hair please but i'm one week post-op this is my scar it's healing pretty nice and then 
over here you can see this is where the drain came out and they stitched it back so it wasn't like hanging so there's like little marks but those will go away i literally just got the drain taken out like two days ago so that was probably the most uncomfortable part was having the drain in the whole time for five days because it's just like odd to have a foreign body like right here and like know that it's inside you but when he took it out i literally didn't feel anything so this is what it looks like one week post-op i still have bruising and i'm starting to get more bruising here but to the touch i'm still like pretty numb and i can chew but i'm still like doing like the whole soup and soft food thing because it does bother me a little bit once i'm like if I eat like a, a bigger portion meal, like my jaw starts to get tired and I'm like, okay, this is uncomfortable. Surprisingly, it's actually more comfortable to have the wrap on because you just feel like compressed, like nothing is like trying to shift or move around. And I feel like the pressure is really beneficial. I have a better like wrap coming. Um, I got it on Amazon and it just goes like, velcros around your neck and then velcros around your your head so that it's not like a little flimsy and moving around because i do feel like i have to like touch and adjust this a lot and my skin is <laughs> suffering but it's the price you have to pay he said that the bruising here um healed actually a lot faster than he expected i had like a lot of bruising down here already and it's gone you can see like the yellower parts i don't know if you can see the coloring right now but the yellower parts are like healed bruises and then the darker parts are like new ones or ones that are healing sorry i have to put this back on like it's so uncomfortable i feel like this was like a really good time to get this done too like time of the year i mean because by the time i'm at my like two month mark when everything is supposed to be like snatched golden like you're good to go it'll be like the beginning of june so I'll have like the whole summer to look like a snatched batty goddess, you know? Oh, <laughs> someone's at the gas station next door blasting music. That's what I get every day. It's like a little treat. Like a little like, oh, what are we listening to today? It's like actually every hour on the hour someone drives by like blasting music yeah like i said it, i feel like it was a good time of year to get it like i he did say like his most busy months are in the winter just because like people like obviously hibernate a little bit more like it's so much easier to not go out and like see people or like have that like fomo of missing out on like nice weather so if you are planning on getting something like this definitely plan the time of year and by the two month mark is when you'll be like on hundo p good to go so just keep that in mind okay let's get into it so we're gonna backtrack to last week and i'll show you my little vlog journey hi guys oh my god this is so humbling like i literally look like the michelin man bye okay so first update i'm about five hours um post-op right now and i really i woke up with literally no pain like it was a breeze. I, I was like, did I even do it? This is a drain for like lymphatic fluid. It's like clipped to my shirt down here. That's kind of gross. The only thing that is starting to bother me right now is I feel like I'm really starting to swell. Um, so I just took my first round of Tylenol. I have antibiotics to take later. I'm not in any pain. I think this is just like <laughs> restricting me to talk, but like my face isn't actually swollen. It's just like the dressing is super tight he just my doctor just called me he said i can take the brown part off if i want to if i feel like it's really restricting me so i might do that in a little while and i can actually like f put my finger on the drain which kind of freaks me out because like not my thing right that's the only part that's like sore right now like i feel like i can twist a little bit it's a little tight but like no pain literally no pain at all and i was not expecting to not be in pain <laughs> i feel like my face looks so crazy right now because this is literally so tight. I swear I'm not like swollen up here, but I can feel like I'm starting to swell down here. You can actually like see the drain popping out right there. That's fucking gross. Oh my god, I can't believe I just showed you that. Anyway, new chin who this? You know what I'm saying? I'm in like good spirits. I wasn't like anything but groggy waking up. Like I was not in pain. I didn't feel like loopy at all. It was just general anesthesia. It wasn't like the loopy drugs. So 
um, I was fully there. Apparently I like woke up crying though because um, I've had like a couple of like just like weird experiences in the past with like surgeries and being put under and stuff um, and like I'm not with the shits when it comes to like needles or anything like I'm surprised I, I actually went through with this like dead ass I'm so scared of like blood my own fluid you know it, gross so <clears throat> when I woke up I was just scared <laughs> I was still a little out of it and I was like asking for one of the nurses she was so sweet she was like this like plus size baddie she came in she put my IV in like we were kiki in for like 30 minutes like she was my girl so I was like where is she I need her right now <laughs> oh my god that's so embarrassing but they were all laughing and my mom brought me um Dunkin Donuts because I was like please I need caffeine the second I wake up like I couldn't eat or drink anything this morning um because of the surgery obviously so I was like please bring my Dunkin Donuts like <laughs> like into into the post-op into the post-op room please bring me dunkin donuts so all the nurses were like oh my god that coffee looks so good like what is it of course i had to put them on um so they all said like oh we're gonna try it now so medium iced caramel mocha with almond milk it's never done me wrong trust me okay so right here is getting like super sore the more that i talk just because i think like when i like extend my chin this gauze is like poking it so I'm gonna try and take this off see if it like helps a little bit but that's the only thing bothering me right now like other than looking like I'm about to go shred some <laughs> some snow like like literally it looks like a skier's helmet this is this is very humbling guys like I'm gonna put this on the internet I look crazy I've seen myself at worst I've, I've posted myself at my worst already so this is nothing okay I'll update you guys um, maybe in a few hours. Okay, don't make fun of my scarf, but I'm giving you guys an update. It's the next morning. It's about 9.30. I have a 10 o'clock, like, one day checkup. And you can see, like, my face is just, like, less compact. It's less swollen. Um, it's not, like, tight as tight, but I'm supposed to wear the scarf into the office to, like, be incognito. This is not incognito. This is... I'm out in the open. There's definitely a lot more tenderness, especially like at the base of my neck right here. You can kind of see it's like starting to bruise a little bit. Um, this is just like really tender. Like I feel like I can't like twist my head. I can't like really look anywhere but down. And I definitely cannot like lift up because this is pulling. And I'm a little sleep deprived. I got probably like five hours of sleep total um which i guess isn't sleep deprived i normally get like five hours but i had to like wake up every three to take medicine uh last night i'm like kind of alternating between Tylenol and um motrin every three hours so no pain meds um he said if i needed them i could you know ask him or whatever but i don't think i'm gonna need them i'm not in any pain i'm just like uncomfortable so i'm gonna go to our appointment I'm excited. I think he's supposed to redo the dressing at the appointment and then I get to like take it off throughout the day and whatever and I'll show you when I do. Okay, me and my babushka are gonna go to our appointment. Okay, I know I slacked on the updates. Yesterday was rough, I'm not gonna lie. I'm two days post-op, so I'm day three right now. Um, and I'm very, very swole. Very swollen, starting to bruise down here, which is normal. Um, he changed the dressing, so I only have this like wrap on. And it feels better without it on, but I know I need like some type of compression happening right now. So we have to leave it on. Um, all day even when i sleep and everything too um and then after he takes the drain out on tuesday i only have to wear it at night when i sleep so <sighs> i'm just like stiff right now like it's very swollen i'm still numb under here but i did get my first shower this morning thank god and it was literally the best shower of my life like it felt so good to just like let the water like run over my head and like Put some conditioner in my hair. My hair is struggling right now, y'all. Oh my god. Even my roots, like, I'm supposed to get my roots done on Tuesday. Don't know if it's gonna happen yet, but... 
my hair is struggling like it's so dry and my skin is struggling like I can't put any of my products on it so I'm like so dry my lips are so swollen like I feel like right here is like really really swole swole right now um please with the freaking side table oh my god it hurts to laugh I'm not gonna do that um the only thing I would say right now that's like bothering me is you can't see like really any results yet so it's like okay is all of this worth it you know like I'm not really feeling like chiseled I feel very swollen so I'm like oh my god I look worse than before I even got the surgery is this worth it did I just waste my time did I waste my money I don't think so tomorrow is supposed to be the first day where you can like actually see like the swelling go down like you start to see the shape whatever so I'm hoping that my body heals just how it's supposed to and tomorrow we can start to see some stuff um I'm not regretting my decision at all yet I'm just like oh my god I want to see it how it comes out already we have our drain situation still but yeah that's where we're at day three it's about one o'clock right now so i just took um another round of the motrin switching between like motrin and tylenol um every like four to six hours so no pain but i don't know am i delusional i don't even know what i'm saying right now so <laughs> i swear i'm not on any like drugs or anything so i shouldn't be losing my mind but i am because i've been sitting in this damn bed for like three whole days now and i'm such a busybody, so i'm like oh my god i need to do something side note let's talk love is blind so obviously i have nothing better to do than to watch love is blind what are our thoughts here let's talk about how jackie villain like that was like a major major switch up i think everyone was baffled me included poor marshall poor fucking marshall and i hope that he finds the love of his life and tells her to kick rocks because that shit was disrespectful and to keep the ring bitch like i what pawn shop did you give it to already we're on to you. We're on to you, Jackie. Anyway, peace and love to Marshall. Like, rooting for him. Um, I'm also rooting for, like, the couples who actually made it to the altar to say yes. Because there's no one that I, like, don't like. You know? I think um, Brett and Tiff, match made in heaven. Like, slay all day. They're perfect for each other. Are you kidding me? How did they not find each other sooner? I have my reservations about some of the other couples, but nothing major. I think Kwame might be... I don't know if he's going to say yes or no. But I guess by the time I drop this YouTube video, we'll know. <gasps> still, still though, I want to know your thoughts. Because maybe something will happen with Jackie. Wow. I just remembered that. Okay, well, let's talk. Let's chat. Drop a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Because right now, I'm a little uneasy about this show. I'm uneasy about where everyone stands. But I'll have closure by then. By the time this video drops. So, perfect. Alright, y'all. I always say, oh, I'm going to update you later. And then I fucking don't. So, I'm not going to make any promises here. But I'm definitely going to... This is not the end of the video. But I don't know when I'll see you next. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh my god, as you can see, I can like smile a little bit more. And like I have like more range of motion in my face today. It's day four and I feel good. I feel really good. I got a good night's sleep last night because I didn't set an alarm to take any medication like throughout the night. So I just woke up and was like, hopefully I'm not in any pain. Um, and I wasn't, I was just like a little bit more swollen than anticipated still. Like you can see I'm like starting to bruise down here and like right where the drain is. Um, but I get the drain out tomorrow morning, so I'm really excited about that. I feel like literally all the swelling will go down once the drain is out. Because, honestly, that's, like, the only part right now that I can feel that's, like, aggravating it. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I feel is the drain. I don't feel anything else, which is kind of freaking me out. Anywho, I've watched literally every movie possible on Netflix. Amazon Prime, HBO Max, you name it, I've watched it, okay? Fucking sick. 
of staying in this room. I just want to get out. I actually went for um, a ride today with my mom to get coffee and like run some errands because it's such a beautiful day outside. But I feel like you just get so tired so quickly because you're like so stressed about anything happening to this area of your body. So you're like, I want to be in the crib. And then you come in and you're like, oh my God, let me out. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, going well so far. My face is so dry because I like can't. I put like a little bit of moisturizer in like here this morning. So it was like when I got out of the shower, I was like, oh, I look like SpongeBob. My skin was so dry. But I keep putting like a lip mask on because it gets my lips get so dry. Now they're like cracking. It's kind of gross. Sorry. That's nasty. This whole vlog is nasty, honestly. Like I literally have a tube of blood coming out of my neck. Like this whole thing is nasty. Okay. I'm aware of that. If anyone's aware of that, it's me. I feel gross. I'm trying to like shower as much as possible, but that is a whole task. It really is because it's so hard to get like shit on over your head and like, you guys don't need to hear this. <laughs> but yeah, I get the drain out tomorrow morning. So excited to be rid of this. Um, it'll make sleeping so much easier too. I probably drank like five of these at least in the last 24 hours. They're just so good. But I was so jealous because my mom made a lot of food yesterday. And like we all like I went down and like sat with them at dinner, but like I it doesn't hurt to chew, it's just like uncomfortable. So like I'm just keeping with like the non-solid foods right now. And I was so jealous because everyone was like stuffing their faces, like the food looked so good. But the morning skinnies have been hitting extra, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> A little jump start to a summer diet. I need to stop rambling. You guys are just like the only people I'm talking to for the last like four days other than my mom. So I'm like, hi. And I don't want to like FaceTime anyone looking like this. Like what a jump scare. Can't do that. So you guys are my only friends. <laughs> All right. I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys. Okay. Update. So I am losing a battle right now with pain um like an hour ago i started to feel like a lot of pain right where the drain is and it like was like way more swollen than the other side and it was starting to get like hard to swallow which it is right now but um so i was like something is wrong like i'm not really supposed to experience this much pain on day four and so I called um, my doctor Nick and he was like I guess to get like optimal results he did tell me this right after the surgery but he took like a little bit from my gland over here because it was like really tough um, and like stuck to part of the fat that he was trying to take out so it definitely is that like acting up right now and like all of the numbness is kind of wearing off so I'm starting to feel that, but he prescribed me the good meds. I was like, yeah, yeah, give me the give me the good stuff because the Advil and Tylenol right now, like I'm still alternating it. I'm maxed out and I'm still in a lot of pain. So it's gonna give me the good stuff. My mom just went to go get it um, at the pharmacy. So should be good when he gets back, but yeah, it literally hurts to swallow right now. And he's taking the drain out tomorrow. So he was like, you should probably take pain meds through the night so you can get a good night's sleep and then um in the morning like when we do take the drain out like it won't bother you if you're on pain meds so i'm gonna follow his advice i've never taken prescription pain meds before but um i'm only gonna be on them for like 24 hours like if i i'm gonna like let myself like feel the pain again to see if i even like need them anymore after a day because i'm like not comfortable being on them for longer than like a couple days um i know how dangerous they get and like i'm good you know like i'm good with my tylenol me and tylenol we go way back like this yeah hopefully those those will definitely help they're like i think it's like oxy <laughs> so i'm definitely gonna like be really weary about taking it but i need it right now especially if i'm gonna like try and get a good night's sleep however my friend jada dropped off this little cutesy snack box she gave me 
potatoes, which I already literally dogged one of them. Um, pudding. This was one thing that I didn't even think to get. I got like applesauce and um, jello, but I didn't think to get pudding. So, major key. So, I love pudding. Not a huge fan of the vanilla, but that's not to say I'm not going to eat it. You know? You don't have to love everything. <laughs> Uh, some lollipops, some hashtag haul, some banana and pineapple fruit puree. Never heard of it, but again, I'm still gonna eat it. It sounds good. And then, like, a go go squeeze dupe. And then these, like, body armor juices. So I'm so grateful to her. She's a queen. We love Jada. Just waiting for my mom to get back with the pain medicine and then I'm probably gonna try and just get the longest night's sleep possible because I'm counting down the minutes until the strain is out. I think that's like the the common denominator here for all of my like irritation is the drain. So get it out in the morning. Um again I'm gonna try and take you guys with me. At the doctor's office. Hi. Say hi mom. Hi. I'm more nervous than you are. <laughs> hey, I'm Nick Carter. I'm a facial plastic surgeon in the greater Hartford area. I did Dana's surgery and everything's been going fantastic. And we're like kind of step cousins. So. And kind of step cousins <laughs> for sure. We're definitely step cousins. Yeah. We're step cousins in law. Yeah. Step cousins in law. Yeah. Yeah. How do you call it? Step cousins in law. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. I'm free. <laughs> Finally got the drain out and I just feel like I have so much more range of motion um nick was a little camera shy so we only got a little clip of him i didn't want to film getting the drain out because it was probably really gross to watch i don't know it wasn't gross yeah. it felt like a someone was like taking a feather and like running it over my neck like it was the weirdest feeling like almost like a little snake was under my skin just like slithering up but not painful at all and i didn't get like lightheaded or anything but now i'm all wrapped up again and go back to philly tomorrow but i'm gonna try and not take the pain meds for the rest of the day just to he said to see where my pain is at just to like gauge how much more recovery we'll have to do or like i know that the he said the gland that he did extra work on was bothering me so he wants to see if it's resolved itself but i can't be on the oxy for that so um i took one this morning i'm not going to take them for the rest of the day and then if i need it to go to sleep maybe i will but that's it <laughs> we're gonna go to the grocery store i'll come back with an update soon say bye mom bye okay i hope you guys learned something from my uh my little vlog there i was like dazed and confused half the time so i don't even know what i was saying but anyway um i'm gonna show you what they give you for like aftercare stuff um it's pretty easy honestly like it, it's not a high maintenance aftercare i think you just like need to take it easy for at least the first week you can't even like work out or like do anything very strenuous for two weeks so definitely prepare to be like in the house maybe bed bound most of the time like it's hard to get sleep for the first i would say like week and a half like i really don't feel like i'm like well rested right now because you do like toss and turn when you feel like uncomfortable and like it has woken me up out of my sleep plus the first like four days i was waking up every four to six hours to take medication so just keep that in mind but they give you literally everything that you're gonna need um other than like the tylenol and ibuprofen a little scarf to wear that you guys saw when i wore it to my day after appointment some aquaphor because you have to clean they also give you the hydrogen peroxide to clean your um scar or your incision and i clean this one where the tube went in with they also give you q-tips and then you put the aquaphor on over it for after i think two or three weeks i'll start to use this they gave us like a little neck cream he like swears by this this is actually it's a pretty nice one and it smells good he was like i have patients like buy more bottles of this like request more bottles of this just because like it's so good he was like i use it and i've never gotten anything done so 
maybe it's a, an investment okay let's talk price um i do have the breakdown for the first two options i don't have the breakdown for like the full neck reconstruction or what is it not a facelift i think it's in full neck reconstruction like with the skin and everything so i'll start with the lower the lower price and then i'll tell you i literally have my receipts of what i paid so the liposuction would be this top price just plain liposuction would be the top price of two thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars and on here he did put um a family discount i was really grateful for that i told him he did not have to do that so i actually ended up getting a family discount but i have all the prices without it so don't fret and then they charge you the anesthesia fee which is 825 dollars and then the facility fee for the surgery center like it's their own price is 1300 so all together this is the total that you would pay if you were not related to him. So it'd be around $5,300 with everything. And that's like including the facility fees and everything. So you don't pay it all at once. I feel like you might be able to, but I paid my down payment right when you make the appointment. When you make the appointment, you have to give a down payment. I think it's 20% or 10%. And then I paid the rest at my pre-op appointment. A week before I had a pre-op appointment and I paid the down payment but if you guys just wanted the regular liposuction the step down from what I got that would be the price he did mention when I was in my consultation like I told him what is gonna give me the best results like which option do you think for what I looked like before like what do you think in your opinion I should get and he did see the second option I don't think think in any way shape or form he was trying to get me to spend more money or like do more than I actually needed to I think that he knew exactly what I wanted and he was like you're not going to obtain those results from just the liposuction and he was like and it, it is that way for a lot of people like he's had people who get just the liposuction come back and get the neck lift as well I don't have any reference to show you like a before and after of each but I figure also because of like my weight I would always probably get the second option if i was like on the thinner side already i'd probably just get the neck or like the regular lipo so i don't know it's very very like situational it's always going to be up to you obviously and if you ever do go and get a consultation and they tell you that you need more or that they like recommend more than you think you should get don't hesitate to advocate for yourself and just be like, no, I think I'm more comfortable with just this option, whatever. The first option that I just mentioned, you actually wouldn't need the drain. Um, that's probably why you don't see, like when people say like, if you've ever seen anyone else's video about chin lipo, they probably don't have a drain. I did because of the um, the neck stuff. Again, I, I'm not a doctor, but I just listened to him and that's what he said. But that's why I had the drain. Okay, this is what I paid down to the freaking penny okay so for my down payment deposit right when i booked the appointment i paid fourteen hundred sixty two dollars and 49 cents that was i believe 20 percent or 15 percent of my whole procedure and then um on my pre-op appointment i paid the rest altogether it was $5,849.98. Um, let me do some math and I'll tell you how much it was all together. Okay, this is how much it was all together. $7,312.47. And my quote was literally on point. Like the exact amount. <laughs> so I didn't even need to do the freaking math here. But... My budget for this was 10 so I definitely have stayed under budget but when I say budget I mean like travel expenses everything like that and this that in between because obviously I had to travel back to Connecticut a fuck ton of times like pre-op appointment I went back and then I came back to Philly like the next day I traveled um, up there like I flew up and back for my surgery so I just kept all of those costs in mind as well and then I'm gonna have to go back next week for a two-week appointment and then again 
for a one month appointment. So I'm keeping all of this like travel, all of these expenses in mind. And so far I'm staying under budget. Obviously if you have to travel, you should also keep those expenses in mind because it does run the price up a lot. But I kind of just was like, you know, whatever the flight costs, it is what it is because you gotta go, you gotta go. And at least it's someone you trust, you know, like I wasn't in the market to like budget or save money here because this is my face like i'm taking this very seriously and if you're honestly like i hate to say this but like if you feel like you're cutting corners because you're trying to save money like don't do it do whatever you have to to get the best results to be the safest to go to someone you trust even if it's not the same doctor i go to like do your research and and go to the person that you feel most comfortable with and probably is the best vetted honestly because this is not an area of your of your body you want to fuck around with i mean you shouldn't fuck around with any area of your body but like i was not playing games when i came here you know what i'm saying another point i wanted to mention was for like sleeping aftercare comfortability like if you're gonna get this done get a travel pillow i'm not kidding that is the one item that has saved my life through this entire thing like it's just so much more comfortable to lay back and have like this consolidated and no option to move side to side um i also had that like diagonal like triangle pillow to kind of prop me up because you do have to sleep with your head above your heart for the first like week or so um to avoid blood clots so i'm like propped up a little bit in bed still which is like obviously making it a little harder to sleep but we're getting there we're getting there but definitely get a travel bill like that is going to be your lord and savior for this process i do i have one linked on my amazon storefront it's to die for to die for even if you're just traveling like she is the best it's the best like memory foam i love her and then also get yourself a faja that wraps around your neck because when i take one of these strands and like go all the way around my neck i feel so much more secure i don't feel like i need it right now but throughout the day i'll be like oh my neck is really hurting because you feel like you have to like kind of keep your chin closer to your chest throughout the day instead of like being up like this like i still can't really stretch this skin yet so i'll wrap one around my neck and i'll feel like a little bit more secure so that's why i got the faja from amazon that just goes once around your neck once around your head and i'll sleep with that on and it'll be super comfortable and again like keeping this on for as long as possible they say that you get better results the more you wear it so i will be sleeping with this on for at least two to three months like i'm not here to play games if i have a day where i'm just in the house not wearing makeup like i'm strapping this shit on like i'm i'm getting the best results i'm getting the best bang for my buck because i spent a lot of bucks and like don't let anyone steer you away from getting something done like this if it's really something that you want i was really hesitant at first um to even get something done like this let alone share it just because you know there are people out there who are gonna judge you for like body modification and stuff it is your body it's your life we all live on a floating fucking rock so who literally cares like go get the filler go get the botox go get the lipo like who the fuck cares who cares like you know like if you feel comfortable doing it do it do it for yourself like i know i didn't do this for anyone but me you know like that's just how the cookie crumbles girl girly pop i've actually wanted this for a really long time i told myself that i was gonna buy myself chin lipo for uh, grad school graduation like three years ago and i just never did because i didn't have the funds at the time and i was like you know I should probably pay off my student loans um <laughs> but i finally you know i'm in that point in life where i'm like you got the you got the funds girly like pop off do something for you you know so if this was the push you needed here i am pushing you go get it go get it if you want it Okay, I think I did cover, like, majority of the questions that I see right now on, like, my TikTok video or whatever, but feel free to ask more questions in the comments of this video if you guys have any, and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, again, like, this whole experience is super subjective. Like, it's going to be different for everyone, um, but to be honest with you, it's not nearly as bad of a recovery as I thought it was going to be. Like, I really thought I was going to be in hell for, like, two weeks, and I was perfectly fine. Like, 
probably the only hiccup was that fourth day when I felt pain but if you have a great doctor who's like super responsive you should never really be in pain for longer than I think I was in pain for like 30 minutes like it was insane it turn over time like he was on his shit so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe I gave you some insight and then that extra little push to go get something done for yourself thanks for tuning in I love you guys stay tuned for next week's video and make sure you subscribe to my channel love you bye